big welcome to Cabin Fever Crochet with me, Helene, on this early November. I had to think about that for a second. Afternoon. It's kind of chilly, kind of mild. The sun keeps trying to peek in and out for a few seconds anyway. So hopefully we will be graced with that while I'm showing you the couple of things I got. Yes, I did. Let me tell you how this came about. So there's this little town north called Chihuahua, and that is the town where I do the seasonal farmer's market. And it's a small town. There is one stoplight through the town, under 3,000 population, although it is really spread out. Uh, but it's cute. It's such a cute town. It's kind of up and coming. Um, pre-COVID anyway, but it is coming back and there it's a very artsy town. There's a variety of nice little eateries there, kind of unique, different. It's, it's like old cowboy western meets the artsy group. It's, it's a really nice mix in between. So there's this new little mini mall and by that it's one building and inside there's separate rooms. And so the owner of that, she rents out different businesses and then she has some of her own. She does some consignment gifts, a room with clothing, children's clothing, women's clothing, things like that. Oh, and she has a craft room too. And I picked up the calendars. Uh, they have craft night. And so anyways, I drove by, I saw one of those sandwich board signs and it caught my attention because there was the drawing of a yarn ball on there. And I'm like, what, what? She has yarn now. And my first thought was, oh, you know, maybe it's the commercial stuff. But then when I looked above the yarn ball, it said Homestead Yarn. So I really hope this is going to be a unique, an independent yarn shop. I walked in and so the first room to the right had com was completely redone and it is indeed a yarn shop it, because it's one room it's small but the way she decorated it it's so cute so inviting and she made such great use of all the space really hands-on terrific outstanding customer service she knows her products and she does classes and we had nice conversation I did pick out a few things and I know in my last video uh, when I showed you my yarn room nook tour and I said that I'm scaling back and I really did mean that. It's just for my own personal thing. Other things we have going on around here besides just buying up. But I did say I will still buy, but I'm trying to really think about it more and make it count. And it's like, no, I don't have to have everything just because it's pretty and you know, that's not, not always easy to do, but I, I put on my behave willpower thinking cap before I went in and I had a great time to get a couple things. So I'm going to show you what I got at the end of the video. And then as we go through it, I'm going to show you the different yarns and describe some of them, what they are. Oh, and the uh, shop owner, it's called Homestead Yarns homesteadyarns.com. She does have a website. Her name is Darcia. I'm going to leave the link for that below. And as usual, anything else related that I, I mention and talk about, she does do mail order. Her website, however, is not completely populated yet. It's not completely finished, but you can go on there and look. And I, I think she's going to be getting more in. And she's looking for a really nice acrylic. And I noticed that she does have a lot of independent and smaller companies in there, which is nice. I really appreciate that. And I really like to shop and support local whenever and as much as possible too. So we talked about the classes. I signed up for one, a knit class. And even though I looked at her project, it's a basket weave scarf. And I could figure out and see how she did it and the stitches. But I thought, you know, this could be a nice opportunity, a nice way to connect and interact with other people and to not only support what she has going on that I could probably really learn something hands-on, maybe a different technique. 
And I like that we talked about her method of teaching and I really like that she explains what we're doing and why and teaches tips and techniques along the way too. And that helps me understand. And that's why I use do the same type of method with my own techniques, of course, with my own style, but when I do tutorials and teach. Oh, and then speaking of teaching, she remembered me because we met at the farmer's market the last day. So that was really nice too. So she got an opportunity to see what I have. So she, we talked about and possibly me teaching some classes there, which I would really enjoy doing. It just works back to a matter of time because I have been spread so thin for months. And that's why I've been behind in my tutorials and getting out my new patterns. And what I'm gonna really have to stop doing is giving any kind of dates and just put a ballpark out there because life happens, things come up, can't help that and have to prioritize what's what. And I've really had to put some time into catching up on life and important things that I have to do. All right, so, but I did sign up for a class as I thought that's gonna get me out of the house. And especially before the snow starts flying, because roads can get pretty dicey around here and especially that trek from here up to there when it's snowing and especially at nighttime, can't see where the road lines begin and where they end and it gets super slick. So there is a class that I would love to take in the middle of the November and it's broken up into two for knit fingerless mitts. And I think that would be really fun. Just sometimes when I need a little crochet break, but still wanna play with yarn. And that she did have a full-sized yarn shop in Central, I think uh, South Central-ish Washington State. I've been through there. It's called Kennewick and it was called Sheep's Clothing. So she, she sold the business and it's still there. So if any of you have lived in the Tri-Cities area, you know where that is. So she's the previous owner, Darcia of Sheep's Clothing. And so now she's homesteadyarns.com and I hope she does really well. Now let's do the tour and then I will come back and show you what I got. And brr, whew, it's getting a little bit chilly. I'm gonna have to get a refill. <laughs> when I first walked in, I realized I was kind of holding my breath, but I had no expectations one way or the other. And oh boy, was I pleasantly surprised. What a feast for the eyes in this wonderful cornucopia of yarn. And as you can see, she made such great use of every space, but without overcrowding at all. And this yarn right here, this is KFI Luxury Collection. It's a super wash wool. It's very soft, very smooth feeling. And it surprised me not being a merino superwash wool. So I was really happy with that. I love both colors. Speckled is one of my favorites. So that one is on my wish list. And then over to the right on this wall, that yarn on the top shelf again. Wow, 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 wow. Really called me. I'm not going to try to pronounce this right now, but they are paint yarns and they're named after that river in Chile and it is extra fine merino and silk blend. It's a very fine number one. Absolutely stunning. The, the hand to this, the feel is out of this world. I mean it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing yarn and you get 545 yards, 500 meters pretty incredible. That would go a long way. It's funny, I texted a picture to my friend Nancy and she asked, oh, so did you buy all five? I'm like, yeah, I wish. Um, and this, the Queensland collection, I'm familiar with this line and this is 100% llama, I believe it says, llama yarn. This is incredibly soft too, really nice. And then another Queensland collection here, really nice variety of colors. And this is super wash wool from Australia. And it does have more of a wooly texture. And for those who can wear that, enjoy working with it, it's quite nice. It's, it's too wooly for my skin, but 
Oh man, aren't those colors incredible? The saturation. And this one, this creative yarn, it's a DK weight. This really caught my eye, the sheen to it, the way that it feels. <clears throat> this is a luxury blend of alpaca, Peruvian cotton, and modal, a plant fiber pulp. And then um, it's just so silky and smooth. The, the, the light sheen from the plant fiber pulps are more what you get with bamboo. And it's very sleek feeling. And this is a DK. I believe that was 260 yards at 1995 each. And the colors are wonderful. I think this would make an amazing just on its own um, and incredible projects and I'll get into a little bit more of that later and then she has some Noro yarn and this is more of the you know, rustic wool type I guess uh, I would describe that where you know equivalent to what I would call it the woolly wool but the colors the self striping it's just amazing the saturation and over here in the window she has some uh, sparkle type of yarn that you can mix in. Now here's the Ella Ray yarn, and then she also has some <clears throat> in the Chunky as well. And then this Couture yarn is 100% cotton, and it has an interesting ripple texture to it. And it's a number three weight. It says a light number three, but it's, uh, I think, a little bit thicker and due to the texture, it would work up a little bit more thicker-ish because of that. And I think it was for specific, because it is very cottony, it has that bite to it. But I want to go back <clears throat> and try that. I have some ideas as far as I think it would make great summer hats. And I'm going to try that at some point and let you know how that works out. Something where you need that bite and need the texture and something to hold its shape. Now, aren't these absolutely adorable, these knit stitch markers by Chiagu? I must have picked those up and looked at them at least three times. And then up on top, the tippy top there, she has two sets of the Chiagu interchangeable needles. I should have had her go ahead and open them to show you if you haven't seen them. They are amazing. The cords are incredible, so flexible, they're unreal. Now this alpaca, this 100% by that uh, same company I showed you a minute ago, oh my goodness, that is some of the softest alpaca I have ever felt. And over to the left behind me on this shelving unit, have some LRA, I'll get back to that in a minute, and then on half in the second, and then the third shelf down, this is another Queensland collection Brisbane it's Australian superwash it does have more of that bite that texture to it really beautiful though and more of the ombre marled self striping wish I'd taken a picture of the sample of the fingerless mitts for that class that she is making the way the colors work up are incredible something to keep you warm for sure and now back to this LRA this is it's either a chain net or an i cord type of construction I think it's a number five and it is mostly acrylic with a little bit there we go 76 percent acrylic 14 percent wool oh and 10 polyamide I didn't even notice the wool content in it before which I can feel somewhat it's still a nice blend and they are self striping yarns but they are heathered as well and then you can see on the shelf behind that skein I was holding here we go is the sample a scarf that she made and how the color changes work up there I think that one's $12.95 per and she has some faux fur yarn that actually has wool content in it and it's very soft and some super fluffy ultra bulky and on the right here's the LRA Chunky in the sample of that basket weave scarf, the class I want to take. And she let me actually put that around my neck and I'm sure I can wear that fine, no problem. This one, no, not so much, but for those who can, this is interesting. If you like the roving single ply yarns, that could make an amazing something, that is for sure. 
And on top she has a nice selection of Chiago circular needles and some bamboo crochet hooks. I did not test them out. Next time I go in I will make a point of doing that and let you know how they worked out for me. Back over to the window I want to show you these. I think they would make such cute gifts these novelty knitting needles also by Chiago. There we have the raised little speckled polka dots in the red with the faux pearl on top and these pink opaque metallicized balls with a silver bead cap and a silver ball on top of there too. Super fun, I think. And that concludes our tour of Homestead Yarns Moon River Boutique. That is children's clothing and accessories. A room behind that is ladies' clothing and accessories also. And across the hallway, that's where they have some of the consignment and a variety of gifts. And then there is a craft room around this corner and what I presume will also be the knitting and crochet classroom. All right, so now I'm going to show you what I got. Can you believe I only got one hank of yarn and then a couple other accessories? Oh, but I do have a wish list. Yes, I, indeed I do. And um, that gorgeous speckled yarn. Oh, oh yeah, I want to tell you the other one I really like is the Ella Ray, the Superwash Merino in that gorgeous kind of grapey violet color. It's so pretty and it just... Sometimes even something like that, that has a lot of color, can become a neutral. Because look, it looks good on navy, it looks good with green, with brown, uh, and, and just gives some life and brightness around the face too. And, all right, so this one is called Creative, spelled differently, C-R-I-A-T-I-V-E. At first I thought that was a U, I'm like, what is it? creatude like attitude what does that mean so this is a dk and in this denim color and i only got one i'm hoping one will do it and i got it specifically to go with a knit crate yarn that i've had for at least a few years and this is the yuru sugared worsted it has the stellina in it and this is the colorway wolves so some of you may remember this i only had two and at the time i do wish i went back and got a third because i really want to make a hat and cowl set and i have some real dark navy and i tried one strand of it it mixed but it made the whole thing so dark and i wanted to give it some life I do think that's going to work and having the cotton and modal is going to make it more of a versatile, versatile fiber too for more seasons like real early fall and then early spring. So you see I twisted the two together. I think it's just going to work real well and I did it with the darker color. A um, little bit hard to tell in this lighting at least from my eye on camera this is pulling up a bit of a different hue but i'll still be able to see all these other colors and the stellina with that oh my hands are getting cold oh this is wonderful i love this yarn this would make on its own it's a dk weight and it's 260 yards 238 meters it's a number three light this would make an incredible incredible um, warm weather little short sleeve top shawl whatever it's really nice that called to me and i got a couple of tools Woo, tools 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 okay these chiago so adorable the stitch markers and they are for knitting and i do have some of the rubbery ones I think they're by Clover, but I always they slide off and I drop them and because they're a little rubber, they, they bounce off, they hit the ground and they bounce off into oblivion. And I thought these are just so cute and they really just for some reason make me really happy when I look at them. What's interesting is that they are layered so you can size them yourself. Okay, so we go from 
blue to green to yellow and then the smallest being pink probably if you're knitting socks or something they, they nest inside of each other I thought that was kind of interesting and they are a hard plastic like a loose side or a hard type of acrylic I get quite a few they are bamboo but they're not the sticky kind of bamboo and I don't have issues with yarn sticking so they have more slip and but they're not as slippery as metal needles. So I got these circulars for doing more chunky yarn projects. They're a size 13 and are US 13. They're 24 inch. They're the nine millimeter. Yeah, nine millimeter. Now those are real nice. The Chiagu, let's, shall we check them out together? Well, it's cold out here now, so that's really going to be a test. Um, but they have, I have one pair of circulars, and they have such a nice flexible cord to them. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure, I mean, they, they feel a little stiff right now, but if I warm them up maybe with a blow dryer once I take them inside I'm sure they'll they'll get even more flex yeah I think that circular set she has is pretty amazing I've seen it in another store at the interchangeable set yeah that would be a cool thing to have do any of you have that and if you do please let me know what you think yeah, so that was it. Those were my little discoveries and finds, and I had such a good time. I'm thrilled that she's there, and it's been a while since I've done a show and tell, so I thought this would be a perfect thing for it. All right, well, I'm going to go in now while well, I can still sort of feel my hands. <laughs> Take care, everyone. I will be back as soon as I can with everything I promised, all right? So I hope you will come back to join me again. All right, thanks so much. Take good care, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.